What up YouTube, it's your boy Professor Sticks and I'm back again with another Call of Duty Warzone video. Today we're going to be comparing the PPSH41 to the nerfed MAC-10. We'll be comparing these stats, looking at the recoil pattern, and I will be sharing with you the best attachments. We'll be seeing if the PPSH41 is viable in Warzone and does the MAC-10 still live up to the hype. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make Warzone tips and tricks videos and I compare the best weapons in Warzone so you can rise to the top. Let's get into it. When we're looking at the weapon stats, the PPSH has an ADS speed of 182 milliseconds compared to the MAC-10, which has an ADS speed of 167 milliseconds. The movement speed on the PPSH is five meters per second, and the MAC-10 has a movement speed of 5.08 meters per second. So pretty comparable here. The MAC-10 does have a slight edge in quickness and speed, but the PPSH is not too far behind. When we're looking at the reload speed, the PPSH comes in at 1.86 seconds and the MAC-10 has a reload speed of 2 seconds. The rate of fire is 908 rounds per minute and the MAC-10 has a rate of fire of 1,108 rounds per minute. Now, the PPSH has an open bolt delay of 54 milliseconds and the MAC-10 also has an open bolt delay of 50 milliseconds. Let's get into the damage profile. The PPSH does 35 damage to the head, which means it's going to take eight shots to down a fully armored opponent. The MAC-10 does 29 damage to the head after its recent nerf, which means it's now going to take nine shots to down a fully armored opponent. The PPSH does 27 damage to the chest, which means it's going to take 10 shots to down a fully armored opponent. And again, the MAC-10 did receive a nerf here, which means it now does 24 damage to the chest, which means it's going to take 11 shots to down a fully armored opponent. Now, the PPSH does have a damage fall off of 16 meters, and the MAC-10 has a damage fall off of 15.5 meters. Let's take a look at the time to kill. Now, the PPSH, if you hit all of your headshots, you are going to down a fully armored opponent in 517 milliseconds keep in mind that the time to kill does have the open bolt delay included the mac 10 if you're hitting all of your headshots will down a fully armored opponent in 479 milliseconds more looking at the chest ttk the ppsh is going to down a fully armored opponent in 649 milliseconds and the mac 10 is going to down a fully armored opponent in 587 milliseconds and so you can see here that the mac 10 just has an edge over the PPSH. That insane rate of fire keeps it competitive, even though it has now been nerfed for the third time. Now, if you hit one headshot with the PPSH, you are going to reduce your time to kill to 583 milliseconds. However, if you hit two or three additional headshots, it's not going to make a difference. You're still going to be downing a fully armored opponent in 583 milliseconds. Now, with the recent nerf to the MAC-10 before, if you hit a headshot two or three you wouldn't have reduced your time to kill however now if you hit two or three headshots you will reduce your time to kill from 587 milliseconds to 533 milliseconds which means that the mac 10 still has a pretty decent time to kill however you do now need to hit two or three headshots to bring that time to kill to a low 500. Let's take a look at the recoil pattern. All right, so as you can see here, the PPSH is on the left and the MAC-10 is on the right. The PPSH does have more vertical recoil than the MAC-10, but it is tighter horizontally. The MAC-10 does have more horizontal recoil, as you can see that it veers off to the right, then slowly corrects itself on the left. Both of these are very easy SMGs to control. Not much to discuss here. All right, let's talk about the situational use. The PPSH excels at close range and is laser accurate with its very little recoil. It's very mobile, so you can use it for a run and gun playstyle. It does come with a 71 round magazine, which is big enough to give you more than enough ammo to take on multiple enemies. You'll want to combine this with a primary that shines in the mid to long range gunfights simply because the PPSH is not great outside of 15 to 16 meters. Once you reach outside of its effective damage range, it just becomes a very slow time to kill weapon and it doesn't shine compared to the other SMGs or the FFAR, which are all good at medium and close range. So keep in mind, you'll wanna have a decent mid to long range weapon like the AMAX. All right, let's jump into the attachments. All right, so here are the attachments for the PPSH-41. You're gonna wanna go with the Gru Suppressor, the 15.7 inch Task Force Barrel, the Spetsnaz Grip, 
the 55 round drum mag or you can go with the 71 round drum mag it's up to you i prefer the 55 round drum mag just because there's no penalty to the ads speed then you're going to want to go with the raider stock this is going to give you that sprint to fire time i think this is really important because this gun does have a open bolt delay also the sprint to fire time is not that great so you're gonna, definitely going to want to put on the raider stock all right guys very quickly going to show you the mac 10 loadout the agency suppressor the 5.9 inch task force the field agent grip the 53 round drum mag and then the raider stock all right so here are my final thoughts Looks like Raven Software is starting to look at the game's loadouts and see which weapons have a certain TTK, and they're really trying not to give the PPSH too much power, and that resulted in it just not really being an exciting weapon. The TTK falls in line with you know the regular SMGs that we have, but it just doesn't do anything special. You can use the MP5. You can use the Cold War MP5 or the Modern Warfare MP5. You can use the MAC-10 and the FFAR is still very lethal. So I'm not sure here. The PPSH will be viable. You definitely can, still can use it, but it's only going to be good for close range. And the TTK is just not that impressive to be such a limited weapon. All right, that's it for me, guys. As always, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and you learned anything new. Hit that subscribe button so you can find your way back for more Call of Duty content. And as always, you know, I'm streaming over on Twitch. Link will be in the description below. Make sure you drop into Verdance and continue to frag out. Peace.